All right, how's it going YouTube? I'm your host for this one, Landon Do Not Sing, and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. Before we get started on today's top 10, I wanna know what is your favorite fast food restaurant? Let me know in the comment section below, and if I were to answer my own question, I would have to say McDonald's. I just can't resist their salty fries. So after watching this video, you guys might wanna think twice before you eat another Big Mac. Instead of hitting up a drive-thru, you might find yourself in the produce section of a grocery store because these next top 10 facts are sure to gross you out. So we are in this together, and let's get started with this one. This is the top 10 things fast food employees won't tell you. Starting off this disgusting list in at number 10 with chili. I mean, everyone loves to eat a nice warm bowl of chili. Well, most people, not me. But did you know that the chili is made from old hamburger patties? I mean, what's worse is that Wendy's chili is made up from the meat on the grill that expires and dries up, and then it's put into the warming drawer until they have enough for a batch of chili. This has to be a joke. What is going on here? And if the chili is just sitting in the warming device, if it doesn't sell fast enough, they have to add hot water to keep it warm and to mix it up again. So <laughs> no idea what's going on with Wendy's, but we have the five second rule and this comes into number nine. Remember when you were growing up and you dropped a piece of food on the floor and you thought it was okay to eat it as long as you pick it up within five seconds? Well, apparently the five second rule is followed in a bunch of popular food chains too. I mean, just imagine if your Big Mac got dropped on the dirty floor and the employee was like, yeah, five second rule applies here, right? And then they still decided to serve it to you? I mean, that's not cool. All right, so moving on, employees don't always wash their hands and this brings us to number eight. There are always signs in fast food restaurants, bathrooms that state that all employees must wash their hands before returning to work. Well, as it turns out, not all employees wash their hands before they return to flipping burgers and putting the topping on with their bare hands. It's actually pretty disgusting when you think about it, especially in Subway if they didn't wash their hands and they're not wearing gloves. I mean, where did you get your training from? All right, moving into number seven, we're talking about those lovely grill marks on your burger. You know what I'm talking about, right? It's the sign that your burger was cooked to perfection. Well, I hate to be the one to burst your bubble, but those grill marks aren't real. They were put there by a fact. So if you want real grill marks on your patty, your best bet is to make your own at home on your nice clean grill. Because a fast food restaurant isn't gonna make it for you. Up next, at number six, burgers are literally made in an instant. The expected turnaround time for cooking a burger is about 30 seconds. I mean, think about that for a second. 30 seconds. It takes me longer to decide what I wanna order off the menu. The largest fast food chains have cooking burgers down to a science. Take McDonald's, for example. Their grill has two sides, so it takes them 38 seconds to cook a double cheeseburger. This is slightly concerning to me. And now number five is the amount of time a cooked burger sits before being served. After fast food restaurants cook something, they put it in a holding cabinet and they set a timer. Seems legit, right? Wrong. When the timer goes off, they're supposed to throw out the food. Why? Because of E. coli. That's why. Well, instead of following the proper health and safety regulations, they will simply reheat the food. If you guys want a somewhat fresh meal and not those old burgers, you should go to a fast food restaurant between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. or 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. That's when they make it the freshest. Apparently. You're basically drinking bleach, and this comes into number four. Most fast food chains will clean everything with highly concentrated chemicals at the end of each day, which is good to a certain extent because it is killing all of the viruses, but it could also be harmful. That's because they use these harsh chemicals on the grills and on the drink machine nozzles as well. So if you're one of the first customers in the morning, you're in for one surprise. <laughs> you're probably ingesting some of those harmful chemical residues. And and number three, your drink might be dirtier than a toilet. Those ice machines and drink dispensers are actually very difficult to clean, so they are actually a breeding ground for bacteria and germs. There was a study done that compared the bacteria content in ice water and toilet water. I'm not sure who's doing these comparisons. Really weird, but uh, it was taken at fast food restaurants, and it was discovered that 70% of the time, ice from fast food restaurants was dirtier than the toilet water. And in most cases, the ice tested positive for E. coli bacteria, which comes from human waste. All right, so I think I'm gonna be sticking to bottles of water for now on. But I bet you someone's gonna tell me that's even dirtier. Sometimes gross things will sneak into your food, and this comes into number two, unfortunately. Back 2013, a teenager made a shocking discovery while he was eating his Kentucky Fried Chicken. While he was picking apart his chicken, he found what looked like to be a fried chicken brain in his bucket of chicken. I mean, is this real life right now? He reported it to the food chain, who apologized for the incident, but the company's corporate office thinks it was actually a 
chicken kidney and not a brain. Uh, does that make things a little better? Like, I don't think so. I don't want chicken anything. I don't want chicken kidney, chicken brain, chicken liver. I just want my chicken wings. If it wasn't bad enough, in at number one, we have employees tampering with your food. One employee at Jack in the Box decided to add his own special sauce to a police officer's burger. Oh my goodness, this can't be good. His special sauce was him blowing his nose into the burger. That's actually so disgusting. Well, he was arrested obviously for aggravated assault, adding a harmful substance to the food, and disorderly conduct. If I was that police officer, I would sentence him away to 10 years because you need a long time to think about what you just did. Well, there you guys have it. We have made it to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Did you do